Hey everybody, no matter how good or how bad something is happening, the situation in your life can easily be seen as negative or a positive. Hashing on the negative and only looking at what could have been or what happened, it's not going to change and it can't change what happened. What you think about and the positive things that you think about or the negative pull of things that you think about are what come into your life even if you don't want it even if it's something that you don't like if you think about it it's going to manifest into your life that's the same with positive if you think about it it's going to manifest into your life in an exponential fashion there's laws of the universe that i've been taught and that i know and understand so far there's eight of them that i align with that i personally know from what I've been taught. The perpetual law of transmutation, which is basically what you think of and what's in your mind, the thoughts that you think move into play and they move into reality the more you think about them. And what you think about is what manifests into your life. So the thoughts, negative, positive, those are what come into your reality, no matter if you like it or not. Think about a situation in your life and just keep that in your mind. and. You will see that what you think about, even if it's something you don't like, will happen. So that's where you control you. Everything is you control you. And the law of polarity, everything has an opposite. Positive pull, negative pull. Every cell in your body has an opposite. Positive, negative. And those thoughts that you entertain, either positive or negative, it activates those positive or negative vibrations in those cells. And that's how your body expresses itself. Activate the positive side, you will vibrate positivity and others will feel that because everything is vibrating no matter what it is. That's science. The smallest particles in a hard desk and hard glass, there's small particles that are vibrating. And that's the same on a spiritual level. You're sending that out and people can, they can feel that. Stay in the positive vibration and entertain positive thoughts. The law of relativity, everything just is, no matter how big or how small, no matter how successful or how poor. That's the opinions that people put on them. Without those, if there was no human opinion, everything everything just is, no matter what, until you attach an opinion to it. No matter how good or how bad a situation, everything just is. Those first three laws come into the fourth law. The fourth law plays in the, in the first three. The fourth law is vibration and attraction. Relativity, perpetual law of transmutation, and law of polarity, those three, when you put those three together, you're in control of those. And what you vibrate and attract is decided upon those three laws. Thinking positively and what you think about comes into your actions and what comes into reality. Positive polarity thinking and everything just being and being on that nice, being at ease and attracting you vibrate that positive that's what you attract you send it out and it comes right back to you immediately those are four and you have the law of cause and effect you put out good whatever you put out is what you get back you put out good you will attract good you put work in towards what you want and what you see and you put in you know what you want and what you see and you put that in and, it, and you continue to work towards that every single day and not trying really hard not trying super harder just knowing what you want you have only so many hours during the day and you get up and you do it again tomorrow that's for scheduling your hours every day as well for the whole week that comes into play so you know what you're doing you're not just wandering around aimlessly those are five then you have the law of rhythm the law of rhythm is everything goes up and down, everything, life, everyone's life, everyone's life has ups and downs. And when you're in those super low lows, pay attention to what you're thinking, because when, it's easy to be happy when you're at the highs. It's not easy to be happy when you're at the lows. And that's what we're noticing what's going on, all of those different habits and paradigm, the paradigm that you were in, which is your groups of habits and what you've been imposed upon in that virus code of society generational paradigms what people in the family heritage have done for 
hundreds of years have been passed down. Not everyone on the earth thinks that way. Not everyone even 50 kilometers away from you will feel that way. Why are there people that are living in $50 million mansions that live right near you? It's because how they think and how they were raised or they weren't raised that way and they decided to think differently. And everything goes up and down. That is the law of rhythm. When you're at those lows, don't beat yourself up. Don't be hard on yourself, but take care of yourself because there always will be followed by a nut. And it's not, it is keeping those lows when you're at those really low lows, learning and understanding what you feel and how you think and not beating yourself up and just being there for yourself. So you don't keep going down to those lows. So those lows get lower or so they get higher than the previous low and the highs, you can stay up there more because you, you can entertain and you stay on those positive vibrations. Then there is the law of gender and that is how long things take. Everything has a period before it manifests, before it becomes and, and it grows and it, and it becomes into takes comes into fruition is what I was trying to say. Nine months it takes for a baby. Let's say it takes 40, 40 years for a tree from a seed to become a full grown tree. You know that everyone knows that that's just like an idea. That's just like something in your brain. Every person and every thought, every idea has a time before it comes into reality. And that just is, that's just how it is. Just like pregnancy, you're not like, oh, I'm gonna have a baby in two months. It's just like things in your brain. You, there are times and there are, there's a certain amount of time that it takes for something to come true. And that's where you apply all the laws. And you see that you know, positive pole thinking, what I think about positively will come to my reality. No matter if I like it or not, so entertain the positive because that's what I want in my life. Cause and effect, put out good, you'll get good back. And those inadvertently speed up that process because there can be a baby that's born in six months and survives. Maybe it's never been done before, but that is that perspective. That's the awareness that other people may not have, that they don't see yet, but you do, you know it inside. And you keep doing that and you keep going for that every single day. And you stay on that constant at ease vibration, knowing what you want and the universe sends that to you the how does not matter the what matters and it pulls you there and you stay at, at ease and you attract all of those things because it doesn't give people that are at a low vibration of anxiety worry doubt fear it doesn't send them things in abundance because that's not what they're vibrating that's not what they're sending out to the universe so they don't attract it back the universe doesn't have any reason it can't it doesn't have any it doesn't reason with things whatever it sends out it sends right back the same with the subconscious mind can't reason with things it doesn't know right from wrong real from imagined whatever's going on is what it sends right out through your body to your actions and that's what you get back then there's the law of vacuum law of prosperity which is whatever gets replaced whatever moves away something's going to take its place that is with thoughts that's with habits that's with things in real life. If you get rid of this dresser, it'll be replaced with something else. Something will fill its place, whether it's something, a new shelving unit, a something to fill the space. Something will fill that. And it'll either be filled or you put it with something that you want. That's the same with thoughts. If you don't like a thought, if you don't want to entertain a thought anymore, you say, I don't like that thought. That isn't something that serves me. And that's it. Something else will fill its place, whether you like it or not. And that's where you have to fill that thought with a positive pull of thought. And that's where you vibrate. You have the you have the choice and the option and the ability to think what you want to think. And same with habits. I'm sure everyone's heard this. If you don't replace a habit with something, you know, something will take its place. If you want to quit smoking, it's an addictive habit. It is an addictive thing that you habitually do. And if you don't 
replace the smoking with something else, something will take its place. And that's where you have to make a routine, make things strict because you're replacing that addictive habit with something that you want. Those are all the laws of the universe that I currently have an awareness of and that I've learned. The perpetual law of transmutation, law of polarity, law of relativity, law of vibration and attraction, law of cause and effect, law of gender, law of vacuum, law of prosperity. And the last one that's in my mind, law of rhythm. All of those are what I currently know and what I'm sharing with you. So I hope you can use those and it may not come to you right away, but just believe them as true. And you will see that the more that you impress those onto your subconscious mind, you think about them, you'll see that that's actually how everything works. Just believe them as true. Don't question it. If this resonates with you, keep pushing forward. Study that every day. Write them down. Write them out. Notice when that relates to a situation in your life. And write that down. And see that this is how it is. Spread love to everyone. Kindness and acceptance. And we'll make a better world around us. Thank you.